coming to you deep within the workings of the Armstrong household, a place where we don't very often bring people the laundry. And all we need is a container for today's little experiment and a lid that you can put on it, a container like a soft drink container, and a lid you can put on, screw it up tight, and warm and cold water and freezer. So the first thing you can do with your container is just tie the lid on tightly, make sure it's done up tight and drop it in there, close the lid of the freezer and just listen for a while. There it goes, I heard a little crack. But to make our experiment a bit more interesting, if we put some warm water from this tap, just get it up as warm as we can, put a little bit of warm water inside, what we're trying to do is get the air inside that container as warm as we can and that's probably about as warm as I want it, nice and warm inside there, maybe just put a tiny bit in there, uh, do up the lid and run a little bit more warm water all around the edge, try and make that as warm as I can and then pop it in the freezer again and listen to see what happens. So after about half an hour inside the freezer, here is the bottle that was in the hot water and look at that, it's shrunk it down, it has uh, compressed it, it has contracted the air, and I would be guessing that that's probably about half, nearly the air space inside there now, as it was before. The little bit of water has frozen at the bottom. So let's put that under the hot water again now and see what happens then. So straight from the freezer to the warm water, let's see what happens, pop, 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 pop. So that's gas, air expanding as it gets uh, warmer and it takes up more space, makes more pressure, pushes out to sides. That's what gas does and that's what most things do as they get warmer, they expand. Metals do it, most solids do it, most liquids do it and gases do it as well. So feel free to experiment with your bottle as much as you can with hot water, cold water, freezers. Um, only if you're going to use boiling water, make sure you've got a parent with you. I don't want anybody getting burnt. Enjoy your science this week.